Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, director of the Miami Space Transit Planetarium, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now this week's episode. The king of the planets and an emperor star dominate southern summer skies. Greetings, greetings, fellow stargazers. For the rest of this summer, the cosmos is offering a special treat in the southern heavens. Because not only will my favorite summer emperor of a star be a dazzling sight, but this year the king of the planets is also super bright and close by. So we have two magnificent objects for you to see in the same part of the night sky. Let me show you. Okay, we've got our sky set up for the next two weeks, about an hour after sunset facing south. We're almost directly in front of you. You will see several bright stars, which, if you connect with lines, look like a giant fish hook. In fact, in Polynesian legend, it was said that the god Maui pulled the Hawaiian Islands up out of the ocean with this very same sky hook. Today, however, this pattern of stars is generally depicted the way the ancient Greeks, Egyptians, and Romans saw it. A great cosmic scorpion, who we officially call Scorpius. And as I say every summer, this is one of the very few constellations which really looks like its name, because even the star Antares, which marks the scorpion's heart, is bright red and one of my personal favorites not only because of its red color, but also its majestic size. If we look to the left of Scorpius, we see another bright group of stars, which if we draw lines between them, make a very nice teapot. But this teapot is actually part of a much larger constellation, the ancient mythical creature, half man, half horse, the centaur archer Sagittarius. And this year, right Behind the handle of Sagittarius teapot is the largest of the planets, Jupiter, which we rightfully call the king. But if Jupiter is a king, the heart star of Scorpius Antares is an emperor. Because if we compare the two, the difference between them is staggering. For starters, Jupiter is 88,000 miles wide well, Antares is a whopping 600 million miles wide. But to really put this in perspective, let's start with our Earth, which is a mere 8,000 miles wide. So small we could fit over 1,400 Earths inside Jupiter. But now let's compare Jupiter to our own star, the Sun, which is 865,000 miles wide. So huge we could fit 924 Jupiters inside it. Wow, but that's nothing because Antares is so gigantic, we could fit over 333 million of our suns inside it. Double wow. Or try this sun for size. If we could place Antares where our sun is, it would reach out past the orbits of Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, and way beyond, almost three quarters of the way to Jupiter. Holy Scorpius! But if Antares is so incredibly much bigger than Jupiter, why is Jupiter brighter? Simple answer, Jupiter is much closer. In fact, if we measure distance to cosmic objects in terms of the speed of light, which travels 186,000 miles per second, Jupiter is only 34 light minutes away, which means it takes its light only 34 minutes to reach us. Antares, on the other hand, is so much farther away 600 light years, that it takes 600 years for its light to reach us. Wow! So, get thee out about an hour after sunset, face south, find Scorpius and Antares, then the teapot of Sagittarius, and right behind it, brilliant Jupiter. Then, compare the king of planets to a true emperor of stars. Keep looking up!